A mysterious ghost ship reappeared after vanishing nine years ago without a trace. The ship was moving chaotically through the water. It appeared as though there were no people on board, but the ship was swiftly approaching the shore as if someone was steering the vessel toward it. The fishermen, confused by the ship's trajectory, alerted the Coast Guard. What they found made them weak in the knees. By now the ship was close enough to the shore that the Coast Guardsmen were able to board it and check for anomalies. They soon learned that the ship was called Sam Red Olangi PB-1600. The unit turned to each other, bewildered. Long ago, the Sam Red Olangi PB-1600 vanished into thin air. The ship was tasked with transporting heavy cargo between destinations. It was built in 2001 and served for eight years until 2009 when it left port and was never seen or heard from again. The ship was blanketed by rust. It soon became apparent that not a single crew member was on board, but nobody knew where they'd ended up. The Coast Guardsmen were baffled. How had it been steered towards the Yangon port? The Sam Radalongi was 177 meters long, and according to the ship tracking site Marine Traffic, its last recorded journey was in 2009 when the ship sailed towards the Tianan City municipality of Taiwan. However, suddenly it disappeared from radar tracking mid-voyage. The Sam Radalongi was one of several missing ships to have been located within the past year. In Japan, a giant wooden ship washed ashore, void of a single soul. However, when officials examined the boat, they found something disturbing inside. There were eight skeletons inside the ship that washed up on the Japan coastline in 2017. In March of 2018, Florida uncovered what would be considered the holy grail of shipwrecks. The ship that had washed up in Florida happened to be from the 18th century. It was broken into pieces. Another shipwreck was found in 2017. The ship's exterior looked normal, but on the inside, the ship contained a mannequin and a velvet rose as well as a sign that said, the beatings will continue until morale improves. Things with this wreck just continue to get weird. The ship found in Myanmar, however, was completely barren. Two days prior, the Myanmar Navy had tracked two unknown ships on the radar. They had no idea what was incoming. While they believed one to be the missing ghost ship, they had no idea what the second ship might be. The Navy soon found a tiny tugboat. They realized that Sam Rudalongi was carrying that boat and it was called the Independence. The Sam Rudalongi was empty, but the Independence had 13 crew members on board the ship. When questioned by the authorities, the crew admitted that they were steering the Sam Radalongi but lost the ship because of inclement weather. They were planning to deliver the vessel to Bangladesh to sell it to shipbreakers, who would dismantle it for money. Upon further inspection, the Navy found that the Sam Radalongi was hauled by a tugboat other than Independence. The Myanmar Navy was searching for answers. Why did the ship remain off the radar for almost a decade, and what could have happened to the crew in that time? The concept of a ghost ship has been famous since the tale of the Flying Dutchman, a ship that's doomed to sail forever. The cursed boat cannot dock and the crew must sail it all day and night. Finding the remains of the crew aboard a wrecked ship is unfortunately quite commonplace. For instance, when investigators found a wooden vessel washed ashore in western Japan in 2017, they found seven dead bodies. However, the Sam Radalongi's crew had seemingly vanished into thin air. The cause of these incidents is usually linked to hunger and desperation, but the Sam Radalongi wasn't the only ship to be found without a soul on board. In 2016, a ship named the Tamaya-1 had disappeared off the radar three weeks before it washed up on a Liberian beach. When the ship was found, no crew members, living or dead, could be located. The Tamaya-1 was bound for Dakar, the capital of Senegal, far north of Liberia. Officials had no idea how the ship ended up in Liberia. They also noticed that several lifeboats were missing. According to a port authority, one cause of speculation is that the owner of the vessel was unable to pay crew members, causing them to abandon the ship. But there was one more theory which might explain what happened to the Sam Radalongi as well. Investigators are not ruling out the possibility that the crew was kidnapped by pirates. This is likely what transpired with the Tamaya 1 as a large majority of the country struggles with the issue of maritime pirates, especially the Horn of Africa Peninsula and the region of Somalia. 
Either way, nobody is sure what could have happened to the Sam Radalongi and its crew. The investigation is still ongoing.